Good morning to you and welcome to the Morning Outlook Report. I'm Rachel Jones reporting live from Kalkine TV Sydney Studios. Now the Australian share market is expected to open higher this morning. According to the latest SPY futures, the ASX 200 is likely to open 56 points higher or 0.8% higher. At the closing bell, the S&P S X 200 was 0.3% or 20 points higher at 7,117. Now yesterday the best performing sector was the energy sector. They were up. 4.9%. The worst performing sector was financials. They were down 1.4%. The best performing stock in the S&P SX 200 was Polynovo. Their shares closed 7.3% higher at $1.18. The worst performing stock was PointsBet Holdings. Their shares closed 11.8% lower at $3.68. Now looking to some business news from this morning now and the ACCC will not oppose the proposed acquisition of Hello World Travel Corporate Travel Management Division by Corporate Travel Management also known as CTM. Now CTM and Hello World Corporate both provide travel management services to business and government customers. The ACCC's review primarily focused on competition for large corporate and government customers. And this is where CTM and Hello World Corporate compete most closely. Smaller business customers are likely to have less complex travel requirements. And there are many smaller travel management companies that compete for these customers. Moving on, and transportation technology services company E-Road has renewed its largest New Zealand enterprise customer contract with Downer EDI. The contract for 5,500 units extends through to December 2025. Downer is one of the leading providers of integrated services in Australia and New Zealand. And in New Zealand, Downer has partnered with E-Road since 2016 with around 5,500 5, of their assets, including both light and heavy vehicles and trailers, installed with E-Road telematic devices. And finally, Legacy Iron Ore has recently completed resource estimation for the Kangaroo Bore, Blue Peter and Margot fine deposits of the Mount Celia project. Now this has resulted in an increase to the total mineral resources of the project and with the indicated category classification increasing by 8%. Legacy Iron is a Western Australian-based company focused on iron ore, base metals, tungsten and gold development and also mineral discovery. Well, on that note, it's time for a very short break, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. Crypto talk by Kalkine. The crypto market has been red hot given the Bitcoin rally since the past year. And now the most famous cryptocurrency has got competitors, Dogecoin and Ethereum. If the crypto market excites you, tune in with me, Sage, to know the latest developments about the existing digital currencies and the new ones that are joining the race. I'll help you understand the opportunities and the risks the crypto market has in store for you. For all the digital currency related developments, continue watching Crypto Talk by Kalkine. And welcome back to the Morning Outlook Report. Over in the US on Wall Street, the Dow Jones rose 1.79 percent. The S&P 500 surged 1.86 percent and the Nasdaq ended 1.62 percent higher. Jerome Powell told a congressional committee that he was inclined to propose and support a 25 basis point rate hike when policy makers meet in two weeks time. Traders now see a 5% probability of a 50 basis point rate hike at this meeting in two weeks and a 95% probability of a 25 basis point hike. Now US and European stocks rebounded yesterday and crude prices surged past 110 US dollars a barrel as fighting rages in Ukraine for the seventh day, posing a challenge for central banks hoping to curb rising inflation. In global stocks, the stocks 50 rose 1.5 percent, the FTSE gained 1.4 percent, CAC surged 1.6 percent and the DAX ended 0.7 percent higher. MSCI's gauge of stocks across the globe gained 0.92 percent. And the Russian ruble strengthened 7.63% at 103.1 per dollar. 
The dollar index rose 0.228 percent, while the euro was down 0.24 percent. Oil hit its highest level since 2011 after OPEC decided to hold its output steady despite the Russian-Ukraine war. U.S. crude rose 5.6 percent to $109.18 a barrel. Brent was at $111.12. That's up 5.9 percent on the day. Gold prices inch lower. That was on improving sentiment and a rise in U.S. Treasury yields from eight-week lows. Spot gold was down 1.3 percent to 1,917 U.S. dollars an ounce. U.S. gold futures fell 1.2 percent to 1,920 U.S. dollars. Well, that's all for our morning outlook report here on Calkind TV. Have a great day trading, and stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. This is Rachel signing off for now.